Hi everyone, Miss G here. Now, one of my little friends asked a really good question. Why do we name hurricanes? And I thought that deserved its very own video. So, why do we name hurricanes? It's actually a really good question and it dates back a very long time. So when we have people who ride in boats and they're out in the seas and they need to know what the forecasts are, there could actually be more than one hurricane or tropical system out in the ocean that they have to watch out for. And it tends to get a little confusing when you're talking about hurricane number one versus hurricane number two versus hurricane three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we actually started to name those hurricanes so that way the people on ships and boats could know which storm was which and it would help them to remember so that they stay aware of where those storms are. Isn't that pretty neat? Now, every year we have a new list, but every seven years that list rotates. So the list that you would have this year, the list of names that you would have this year, you will actually see the same list on year eight, so seven years from now. Isn't that neat? But if we have a really, really, really big storm, that's a well-known storm that tends to cause a lot of damage or is a record-breaking storm, it can get retired. That means we will never use that name again. So there's a list of retired names. So I bet you could probably guess a few of those. Katrina, Rita, those are some big ones. Andrew. Now, when we retire a name, that means we have to pick a new one. And did you know that you can actually submit a name to the World Meteorological Organization? and they can put it into the list of names to consider. I hope that you consider submitting a name. Now come on back for more on Hurricane.